Uh, I just uh, finished talking to a couple other people, and they seem to be very, very concerned that Mr. Levy uh, uh, is still here. And I, and I, I think he'll stick around probably for maybe a couple more hours. And then I heard he wants to go to maybe back to Suffolk County. <laughs> really? Not a. This, this isn't really. Well, I think he's starting to get the hint that uh, that he's not well well received in this in this uh, convention. He's a uh, he's a Sheldon Silver Democrat. He has he has a way about him that that uh, he wants us to believe that the zebra can change its stripes, but. Andrew wants us to believe that too, so we're not we're not uh, we're not into zebras changing their stripes. I think uh, if it's a zebra, you're a zebra, and he was pretty well stuck with it. So, so this guy brings uh, some liberal uh, attitudes with him. Uh, he claims to have been f fiscally responsible in his job, and, and I think a lot of doubt has been cast on that. He doesn't seem to be able to get his arms around around specific issues and with depth. He wants to talk in great platitudes, okay, about how mm. things are going to be, and he's going to solve all the problems of the Western world because he'll be able to sit down with Sheldon Silver and work things out for the party. I don't think so. I, I think that uh, it's better he'd take a cab and go home right away. <laughs> That'd be kind of a long cab ride, although you well, just came off a... Suffolk, right? I mean, that's... He's, he lives out there someplace. Yeah, some. How do you some, get there? You think you should take the subway? I don't know. I mean, you could take the Long Island Railroad. I don't know. What do you? Uh... Maybe you should take the subway. <laughs> it sounds like he wanted to go out there on a rail. However, he wants to go, he can go out there. You know? And then all his followers can just come and, and hang out with you. Is that the idea? Or? Uh, I think most of them are going to do that. You know? Really? Yeah. What do you think about this uh, Myers Murmel cat trying to get into? Uh... Myers is a, is a gentleman. He's a nice man. Mm -hmm. Uh, he has, this man has driven the state around and around and around, and uh, and he has met every leader in the state, and I give him a lot of credit for that. He's, uh, but, but the people he's been meeting are people in denial. They're in denial about about the, the, the future of this state, okay? Mm -hmm. They think, they think that these people in these movement groups, okay, the, the Joe Citizen groups, are, are aliens that just crawled out of a spaceship in the woods and are crawling out of the woods. But, these are these are Republicans. These are Democrats. These are independent thinking people. These are conservatives. Okay, these are the rank and file. These are the primary voters. We've been from Ripley, New York, down to the far reaches of Staten Island. We're talking to the people, mm -hmm. and the people when they talk to us, they talk sincerely. They say, "You're our only hope." And being that way, I'm I'm perfectly comfortable with that burden and carrying that burden. Because I bring nothing, I bring nothing else with me. I bring no, no seeking of power. I don't need anybody pat me on the back. I don't need any money. Okay, I'm happy serving for four years as the people's governor. All right, and I'll make this, I'll turn this government upside down. And they know it, and that's why they fear me. Okay. Right. Thanks very much. Thank you.